Hey Ninja, what's hey. going on? How are you, dude? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm okay. Thank you. I'm good. Oh, Need my good apple. friend Fabio. Hey, I know. Hello. Fabio. How are you, Fabio? Again. Yeah, I was with, with the soda topic. I was all over the place. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the teacher is eating yeah. an apple. What is that? Fabio, are you a man who knows how to cook? Yeah, I do actually. That's good. What happened, what, what happened when the, with the previous teacher? What's that? What, what happened uh, with the previous teacher? The, mm, the, the previous what? what? No, the, teacher? The, the, with Gurney? Yeah, previous, the previous class. The previous class? No. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know where he went. But there's a new class that starts every hour. So I'm I'm the teacher for this for this hour. Yeah. So, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I guess you were having a good time, but <laughs> um, I'm just joking. Okay. Uh, well, welcome everybody. Um, for those of you who uh, who I haven't seen, my name is Mac. You guys can call me Mac or teacher or dude. Um, and today I just want to do some talking about food. Um, went shopping today and I was inspired. So uh, I don't know. Just give an opportunity for you guys to uh, to talk. And then I also have a, a small um, uh, use of sayings that we say uh, concerning food in English, and then like a little uh, vocab thing too. So I'm gonna um, go to that first and make sure everyone. Um, just kind of knows what we're talking about, so you can talk about um, you can talk about experiences you've had. You can talk about what your favorite dish is. You can talk about um, you know the best thing you can cook. Anything, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. Let's start over with you, uh, Carlos, on the left, please. Okay, my name is Carlos. I'm 16, and um. I think the the best uh, dish dish I can cook is lasagna. Lasagna, nice. Okay, and where are you from? From Spain. From Spain. Okay, cool. All right, good to meet you, Carlos. Fabio. Hi. Yeah, I'm Fabio. I'm from Italy, and I can cook. We'll get into that later. Yeah, right now. <laughs> Mahmoud. Uh, yeah, I'm Mahmoud from Lebanon. I don't know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fabio's here. He's going to help us all. Okay, Manuel. Hello, I'm Manuel. I am, I am from Spain, more exactly from Venezuela. Okay. I, I, I like very much uh, fish with potato, for example, and some type of sauce on the fish. Nice. Okay. What's your favorite fish? Uh, in Canary Island there is a, t a typical fish uh, which is called vieja. It's uh, like a lot of fish. Okay, um, a lot of fish. Very, very, I like very much the type of fish. Do, does it translate into English? Do you, do you know what that is in English? What? Uh, you, you said your favorite fish. It was a, it was a Spanish word. Do you know if, if that has an English word? Do you know how to say it in English? In, in English is um, parrot fish. Parrot fish? Parrots. Parrot fish. Parrot okay, fish. I've never had that. Is that is that rare? <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay. All right. Nice. All right. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, Maria Jose. Hi, Mac. Uh, well, I'm from Colombia, and my favorite dish is frijolada. It's like beans, mm -hmm. very beans with. It's like a soup, and I am, I am a great. Uh, Chef of this plate, so. Okay. All right. Nice. Um. Can do you? Can you? Can you cook it all? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I have the recipe, is 
Easy for me. I like cooking. Good, good. Okay, good to know. Okay, uh, Rana. Hi Did there. I pronounce that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Rana. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Where are you I'm from? Fine, I'm from Palestine. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm living in Jerusalem exactly. Um, and my favorite dish is uh, a Middle Eastern dish. It's called uh, Ma'lube, we call it. In English, it's upside down. Upside down. Okay. Yeah. What's what's in this dish? Yeah, the, uh, there is rice and chicken and um, um, what I don't know what is it called uh, the the white broccoli. <laughs> what do you call it? Oh, that's called cauliflower. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sorry, okay. I forgot the name. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. Okay, cauliflower. All right, great. Exactly. Um, and that's called upside down. You said, huh? Yes. Exactly. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay, Sami, go ahead, please. Adam, Maria, what? Everything that's in the video. Sami, are you there? No. No. <laughs> Sami. <laughs> okay, let's skip Sami and go to Sebas, and we'll come back to Sami. Yeah. Um, I love food. I really love food, so I have to. I mean, I and I and I love cook, so. Okay. Because so, of that. Okay. Are you pretty? Are you pretty good? Would you say you're pretty good at cooking? Yeah, I guess I have a lot of imagination, so I use it. In, okay. In the cooking. Good. So. I think that's a. I think that's a big part of it. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Uh. And then uh, Isan Tufan. Did I pronounce that right? Oh, there's a bunch you? of you guys. <laughs> good. What's going on? Where are you from? We are following you. Oh. You're what? Follow me. Hello. Oh, okay. Where are you from? Turkey. Turkey. Very cool. And can, yeah. can any can any of you guys cook? Yes, of yes. course. We are students. All the time. Cook you? Look. Look. My house. Okay. Wow, they are Hello. like ten guys. Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got an audience today, there, fellas. Yeah, <laughs> they have food. Yeah. Oh wow, great. Yeah. Yeah. Did you... No, get that out of there. <laughs> go, go. Oh, oh that yeah. looks good. Okay, it's, it's not seem like a very good. Food. No, no. <laughs> bread. What is that? Um, okay. Bread. Oh, bread. Bread. Okay. Okay, we got some kind of pasta dish, maybe rice or something. Um, okay. All right. Well, thank you for the tour. <laughs> cool. Okay. I guess it's already. Was it good? Did you eat it all? It was good. Yes. Yes. It's perfect. Okay. Great. All right. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna be asking you guys. Now, you guys can talk about whatever you want to talk about. But um, I, I want to ask you guys um a lot about uh cooking and how to cook certain things so that you can uh, teach this to me. Okay. Um, so uh, real quickly, this may be uh pretty easy for you guys, but I just want to go through um this quick thing that kind of deals with kitchen equipment, and and then we'll go from there. Okay. It's really easy, but um oh okay. Let me uh, share my screen real quick, and then I want you guys to just shout out what you see, okay? Okay. Okay, so what's this thing on the left? Oops. Fridge. <laughs> hey, yeah. What's at the top, what's at the top part? Uh, eggs. No, it looks like Ice eggs. Cubes. Ice, Ice cubes. Ice cubes, right. So what is that uh, section right there? Ice cubes. Uh, what do what the freezer. Yes, the freezer. Yes. Very good. Okay. Um, what is this? Uh, what oh, is this? Maybe I should shut this thing off. Okay, good. So, what is uh, what is this thing we have right here? Bottle, Bottle of beer. Bottle of beer, maybe wine. Um, Ketchup. Uh, yep. Okay. All right. Uh, no, what's it this? Be wine. Cheese. Cheese. Butter. butter. Cheesecake. Cheese. Good. Butter. I heard somebody say cheesecake, or it could be butter. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, what's this probably? Cake. Yeah, an apple cake. pie. Uh, oh, an cake. apple pie. Delicious. Okay. All right, so you guys pretty much got that, and these are... Oh, my God, I'm hungry. Cans. Wait a minute. Go into the kitchen. Okay, what's this? Shalgam. A cooker. An oven. Very yeah. good. Yep, somebody said an yeah. oven, so that's an oven. Uh, what is on top oven. of the oven? 
Um, the cooker. Cooker is a little bit um, ambiguous. Uh, cooker doesn't really explain, like, we don't really say cooker. Uh, it, it, technically, it does cook food, but we always have a little bit more specific, something more specific than that. Like this yellow thing over here, it, we would call it like uh, maybe a rice cooker or a uh, slow cooker. But over here, we either call it an oven, and on the top, what's the top called, this gray part? A stove, correct. Very good. Okay. So, what's the red, um, the red thing on top of the stove? A tea kettle. I guess uh, a tea kettle usually has a handle on it that you can pour out of. Any other, any other guesses for what that, uh, for the, what the red one is? Lunch pail or something like that. Close, not quite. <laughs> Fabio, do you know? Yeah, it's a pot. Yes, yeah, a pot. <laughs> Very good. Be, uh, how do you say the top of the oven? Yes, this one right here. So this is what we call a pot. Pot. Yeah, and on the top is the stove, or you can say the burner. That's fine. Okay. Um, what is this right here, on the microwave. right? Microwave. Yes, microwave. Okay, what's this? Um, what is a toaster. 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 Good. What's What's the little glove looking thing called? Oven glove. oven glove. Oh, uh, <laughs> I tricked you guys. <laughs> what is it called? An oven glove. No. Oven. Mitten. Oh, Mitten. close, close. Oven mitt. Very good. Oh. Yeah. That's really not important in the grand scheme of life, but just so you know. Okay, what's this called on the right? A jar. Yep. Okay, this one. Oh, it's a can opener. Yes, yeah, it's a can opener. <clears throat> okay, and this is called a can, obviously. Um, yeah. What are what is this thing right here to the left? A mixer. Yeah. Yep. Mixer or what? Starts with a B. Does anyone know? Blender. Very good. Blender. This is also a mixer. Um, this is good for like whipping eggs and stuff. Okay. What's this thing called? That's pretty easy. What's this one called? You guys know this one? Oh, sink. Yeah, sink. Yeah, sink, yes. Yeah. Sink, very good. Um, and those are dishes in there. Okay, so you guys know um, if we have um, any kind of, you know, if we have plates, bowls, um, cups, things like that, we just call them dishes collectively, okay? Like this, dishes. You see that? Yes. Good. All right, Dish. we're almost done. Uh, what is this thing right here? Sponge. Above it. Yep. Sponge. Very good. What are these right here? Um. Oh, there's a there's a kid. There's a baby. I uh, know. There's a little baby playing verbling. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Paper. She's hungry. A uh, roll paper. Paper tower. Paper tower. Yeah. Paper towels. Paper towels. Yeah. Mark, are you there? Yes. Mark. I think he's oh, he's gone. Yeah, we lost Mark. Dude. Dude, where are you? Oh, he goes. Can't hear you, man. Dude. <clears throat> We can hear you, we can hear we can't Your hear mic you, dude. Is off. What, what okay. you? Unmute you, you have to, oh come on, you're the Who teacher, you have me? to know. Somebody <laughs> muted me. <laughs> oh, okay, alright. Okay, you guys can hear me now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, oh wait, I gotta do that again. Alright, we got like two more things and then, uh... okay, so what is this, the shine? What? What's this? Oh. The shine right here. I can see uh, very, very clear. The soap for laundry. Uh, not laundry. Laundry, laundry. Dishwasher. Yes. Okay. So it's soap for oh. the dishwasher. Do we know what yeah. we call that? No. What do you call it? We call that dishwashing detergent. Detergent. Oh, oh detergent. detergent. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 
I heard. I'll, I'll write that in. I heard dishwashing liquid. Too. That's fine too. Dishwashing liquid. That's fine. Okay. Um, liquid might be easier. Um, okay. What's this one right here? This ugly Wash banana machine. colored thing. Yep. Dishwashing machine. What's this? Um, coffee machine. Coffee maker. Yes. Coffee, coffee maker. Machine. Coffee machine. And then what's this? I don't know what this is. Coffee grinder. Oh, a coffee grinder. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, yeah. All right, so wow, you were so excited because of a coffee grinder. Good. I was, Sebas. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, you was. So now that you guys know all the um, all the kitchen equipment, um, I would like to hear. Uh, I guess maybe just tell me uh, tell me some kind of story, or, or maybe tell me about your favorite dish, and and uh, maybe you can tell me how to cook it. Okay. So um, use all the vocabulary you can. And um, anything basically related to food is going to be okay. All right, mm -hmm. all right, Fabio. Let's start with you since you seemed uh, pretty excited to, about what you had to share. Okay. <clears throat> no, yeah. Uh, j just just to make it quick, because I I would like to share with you a couple of recipes. Okay. Uh, there's one which is really fast and really quick. The other one is a little bit longer, but it's not really that complicated. The first one is you uh. probably know is the recipe for the pesto, the pesto sauce. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's gonna be useful. Yeah, I mean that that's very easy. You don't cook it at all. You only need basil, garlic, olive oil, and uh rock salt, pine nuts. And basically you can uh oh well and cheese too, sorry. What basically, kind of cheese? Uh you uh well you have to have a mix if you wanna go uh by the book. It's uh uh parmesan and uh, well, pecorino, which I have no clue how to, how to tell in English. Okay, okay. But parmesan is okay. So basically, uh, I mean, the proper way is to do it by hand. And do it by hand, you need a, a mortar. Uh, and uh, uh, and basically, you add the the basil and the cloves of garlic. Okay. And you have to add one clove of garlic every thirty leaves of basil. Okay. Okay. Then you put rock salt in it, and you start to grind. Okay. When it's when you've grinded, you put the olive oil in it and the pine nuts. Okay. And and, and you keep grinding, and that's how pretty mu much it. How much olive oil? Well, it depends on how, how how liquid you want it. You got to taste it continuously. You know, there is no other way around. Okay. Okay. And at the end, you put you put the cheese, and again, it's on a personal note. So. Oh man. That sounds pretty good. You you yeah. did a good job uh, selling that. And what do you usually use these pestos for? For it's just on, dipping on or uh, on? No, 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 on pasta. Okay, so you just pasta, put that on yeah. pasta. Yeah, there is the fast way. You can do it with a mixer, okay. with a blender, you know. But you have to take, uh, and that's a little trick. You have to put the blades in the refrigerator before using it, before uh, because when you when you mix the basil, it oxidizes really fast. And it tastes like shit. So okay. put it in the refrigerator. Uh, be sure that they're really cold, and do it quick. You you don't okay. want to eat pesto at all. Very good. And that's the first one. And then if if we have time later on, I got another one which has an interesting story. Okay. Thank you. That that sounds awesome. That actually does. I I I think I may um go try and make that a little bit. Oh later. yeah, that that's so easy, man. You know, and it tastes really good. Okay, uh, one thing you said in the beginning, you said um, you need a mortar. Yeah. Um, what now? Why don't you explain to us what a mortar is, but then also say what else you need? Oh uh, well, you know, if you do it by hand, the mortar is like a—I I don't know how to explain. I mean, it's it's like a bowl, and you you need it to be of marble. You know, if you want to go proper, it, it's like a bowl where you where you mix and grind the stuff in it. You know, you need a, a, a I think it's a pestle. Uh, what, yes. what, what's the name? Yep. Yeah, that's what I was going for. So a mortar yeah. and pestle. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to grind it by hand. You know, that's the proper way to do it. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, and then the other thing, guys. Um, does everyone in here know what uh, Parmesan cheese is? Have you guys heard of Parmesan cheese? Yeah. Does anyone know? Has anyone heard of that? Parmesan yeah. cheese is the is the cheese that typically goes on. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Oh, What's God. that? Oh, it sounded like aliens were uh, taking over my brain. All right, 
Parmesan cheese is the cheese that uh, typically goes on like spaghetti or, or typical Italian yeah, dishes. Yeah, yeah. I know uh, it. Okay, okay, good. All right. Um, thank you very much, Fabio. Does anybody other? Does anybody have any um, have any other recipes they would like to give me? Meg, Meg. Yes. Yasin wants to talk to you. What's that? Yasin wants to talk to you. Yasin wants to talk to me. Okay, Yasin. Do you, he says you want to talk to me. <laughs> no, that was just kidding. Yasin. <laughs> Just keep, just go on. Do uh, does anyone have any have any recipes they want to give me? Anyone want to try? Manuel, you got one? Mm. It doesn't have to be a recipe. It could be something. Uh, say about you said you like to cook. What's what's one of the best things you've cooked? Um, let me think. I I love. Uh, I, yeah. I cook amazing <laughs> So, what kind of thing do you? Uh, what was it? What was it? Go ahead, tell me about it. Okay, but it's my version on of a lasagna. So, Fabio, please, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> okay, Fabio, don't take offense. <laughs> this is this is it's, it's not even the 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 Chilean version. It's the Sebastian version of a lasagna. Okay, so don't don't be mad. Uh, okay. No, you um just pa pasta. You have to boil the pasta. What's the name uh, of the pasta called for lasagna? Uh, uh, lasagna. What is it called? Does it? Do you know, Fabio? I yeah, lasagna. That is, that is the name of it. Lasagna. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it is square. Okay. Right. And, uh, thin. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry. Go ahead, Seba. So, so you have to wait until it boils. Mm -hmm. And well, well, that is happening, and I is I'm I'm doing like the um, the sauce, you know. But this, this is the difference is because I don't use tomato sauce. Okay. I don't use it. I like it very much, but it's my version, so deal with it. Okay, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I just do it with with meat and onion. Sometimes it's not onion. I don't know how can I pronounce it. Did anyone here speak Spanish? Maybe he me. Can hear me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, cebollín. ¿Sabes cómo decirlo en inglés? Oh, it's like a little onion. Yeah. Little onion, okay. They're like, like. Go ahead. It's like this size. It's it's not so um, strong. The flavor it's is not so strong. Chive, chive. Oh, you chives. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Chives. I, okay. Cool. So I can use onion, but I I I prefer to use the this other one because for me it's like more flavor. I don't know. Okay. And oh my God, so many words in Spanish that I don't know in English. Mm -hmm. the, okay. This, this, Allow this us to help thing. you. Yeah, <laughs> that you you grab it and you do it like this. It's <laughs> you can do that with a lot of things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, salt, pepper, and okay. oregano. How I don't know. How oregano. It's. Okay. Yeah. Oregano. Yeah. 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 yeah, oregano. Yeah. Oregano. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, okay, that was easy. Well, now, what is oregano? oregano? What what is oregano? What's that called? It's not a, it's, it's spice. It's a yes, spice. No, 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 spice. Yeah, yeah. spice. spice. Okay, so you take a pinch of oregano and, uh, and, and you pinch in some salt and pepper as well, right? Just yeah. listen to me. I'm sorry, I'm not going to listen to you because I'm talking. Yeah, I know. Okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> fuck is... you, fuck, fuck! Alright, I'll go ahead and delete him. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay, right. go ahead, Sebas. <coughs> um, then I'm doing that. And uh, when I finish... I I put all this in a bowl, like mm -hmm. it's kind of rectangular bowl, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I I put in the in in the in the bottom, this this my kind of sauce, with tomato also. Okay, so that's where you put the tomatoes in. Yeah, I put okay. the tomato and uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And then I put like one cape of of lasagna of the pasta. Okay. So we would say I, layer, one layer. Layer. One yeah. layer, one layer, 
and also I, I what I do but this is easy because this you can buy it and you just have to put in the microwave it's, it's like a white sauce it's called mm -hmm. salsa alfredo okay so I, I put there in in the in the lasagna also so I, I start to to make the layers one one by one, one, by one. Yeah, one by one. And at the end, I put a lot of cheese and nice. tomato with oregano. Oregano. Okay. Very cool, yeah. man. That sounds very good. Okay. And when what what um do you put the cheese in between the layers or only yes. on the top? No, 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 no. You do I, that I with the sauce. Cheese. Okay. Yeah. Man. Yeah. All right. That sounds very good. And that's called Sebastian's special lasagna, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's my version. I'm sorry, Fabio, but it's just my version. If, if you get <laughs> mad, okay. you can punch me better. Oh, yeah. no, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Sebas. That sounds good. All right. Okay, so we just heard Sebas' version of lasagna. Does anybody have anything else? Yes. Maria? Okay, go ahead, please. So, I think in English they are called meatballs. Meatballs, yep. That's that, that's pretty um, pretty self-explanatory, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, you have to, um, how to say it, to grind, grind the meat. Grind? Oh, okay, grind, grind. them. Oh, sorry. Grind the meat. And sprinkle oregano, <laughs> okay, salt and olive oil or oil if you don't have olive, and make balls so with meat and um, how to say this verb? It's like. Um, Coat maybe coating in grated bread maybe. Okay, uh, so 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 you have these meatballs know. right, and you wanna do you wanna put something on the outside of it? Do you wanna cover it in yes. something? Yes, cover it, cover them with grated bread, or I don't know how to say it in English. Okay, no, you're doing great. Okay, so you did use the right word. You said coat. And um, and that's that's perfectly fine. That's good. So you wanna so you have the meatballs, right? You grind them up. Or, or sorry, you have the meat, and then you grind the meat, right? Yeah. And then you put salt and oregano and pepper in there, correct? Yeah. Okay, and then you coat it in breadcrumbs. Is that what you were trying to say? Okay. Yes. That's bread right. Breadcrumbs. Okay. All right. Go ahead. So then you can fry it. Cool. And eat it with fried potatoes, maybe. Nice. Or with tomato. So how or do you, you fry can... it? Yes, fry it. H how fry do you fr how oil. do you fry it? Do you ah, fry so it in the pan or to... go ahead? <laughs> yes, in a pan you have to put the 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 oil very very hot. Okay. And put the meatballs inside to fry them, or you can boil it them sorry you okay. can boil them with some potatoes or and pepper um, or I don't know which vegetable which vegetables you you want okay and they are so good okay alright so so once you fry them in the pan then do you just um, do you just eat them plain after that or do you do you have a sauce that goes with them or what happens after you fry them in the pan yeah, you when after uh, you fry them, you can eat it. With, with, uh, after you, at the moment, yes, maybe they are too hot, but you can eat it with cold tomato sauce. To, tomato sauce, Ooh, maybe. Okay. Nice. And they are so so great. Okay, yeah, that sounds very good. All right, thank you. <laughs> and so, so the only spices you put in there are salt, pepper, and oregano, huh? Are there are there any other spices you use? Olive, olive oil or olive oil. Salt, okay. Salt or pepper, yes. Okay. Well, you, whatever you want. All right, sounds you good. You can you can do it. So it's not expensive. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that. 
Okay, Maria. What you got for me? Okay, uh, it's a grandfather recipe. Oh, it's big like guy. it's like a Cuban rice. Okay. Called uh, little bit rice. I don't know the translation or in English is arroz de pajarito. Okay. So you you need a plant a, a mushroom plantain. Love plantain. Um, uh, chorizo is like a sa sausage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sausage. Um, a boiled eggs. Okay. And uh, is a type of cheese called cuajada. It's like um, I don't know. It's like a a type of cake that make uh, the farmers. It's an artisanal cake. Uh, Cheese, I don't know. And bueno, it's like it's a type of case of cheese. Okay. Of cuajada. So you cook uh, all the ingredients: the chorizo, the the boiled uh, the the boiled eggs, and the mushroom. What? I was just gonna say, how many eggs do you have? How many boiled? Ah, uh, depends of the people. It's okay. Uh, it's it's like about two eggs for each. For each person, so okay, it's for about four people, like uh, I don't know, eight eggs. Eight. Okay, yeah. okay, great. Um, you said that fine, but another way you could also say it is um, it's about two eggs per serving. Okay, so that okay. would be another yeah, good yeah. way to say it, per serving. Okay, go ahead, please. So you have to fry the plantain. Okay. In a pan, and when when the, uh, when it uh, will be done, uh, so you mix the all the ingredients with the white rice, and nice. it's over. And you uh, agree salt, salt and pepper, uh, uh, if you want. And yeah, it's a okay. really easy uh, recipe, but it's really good. Okay, I Sorry. bet it is. Okay, so go ahead. Does somebody have a comment? Plantain is a banana. Yeah, it's like a banana, but it's bigger. Okay, okay. yes. Uh, who was yeah. asking about the uh, about the plantain? Oh, Carlos. Okay, yeah. Plantains. Yeah. I, I love plantains. Plantains are um, mm, so. How do I explain this? Um, okay, do, yeah, have you guys heard of? Uh, okay, well, I'll just explain it anyway, just just to get the, yeah, the knowledge out there. We call we call the plantains bananas. So oh, okay. they are bigger than the the bananas in English. Yeah. They're bigger, but they're also more starchy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. bananas are, are, are sweet, and they're more like fruits, and yeah. uh, plantains yeah. are a little bit more starchy. Um, okay, so when you're flying, when you're frying the uh, the plantains, um, what do you? Uh, <clears throat> how do you do that? How do you normally cook plantains? Uh, I can, uh, I put uh, uh, oil in a in a pan. Just any any oil or. Or uh, like uh, I don't know uh, what uh, girasol. I don't know. Does anyone uh, know that? Sunflower, sunflower oh, oil. sunflower. Okay, okay. Yeah. High heat, good. Or or olive oil. So you can you can use whatever you want of both okay. of these oils, and you and use and you put the plantain, the mature plantain, in the pan with enough uh, oil because the the oil uh, have to cover the plantains okay yeah, and and so what kind of heat do you use high heat know. low heat high heat high heat high uh, no heat. medium heat because is is dangerous because the oil sparkles i don't know uh, okay well, yeah the oil will bubble and, and splash yeah onto bubble you. yeah okay. and it, it, wow. okay is maybe dangerous because he it burn 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 you burn you burn you te puede quemar I don't know okay you can burn you can burn burn you can burn yes, yeah okay yeah you can become burned okay all yeah. right great okay well thank you so that's um that's your grandfather's um recipe yeah recipe right okay and what was it called again arroz de pajarito Arroz a pajarito. Okay. A small beer chick. Uh, a small beer rice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. No, it's fine. You did great. Um, thank you for that.
Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Hank, how are we doing? Hank, you there? Hank Ling? Nope. Maybe not. We'll come back to him. Okay, what about you, uh, Sir Raphael? How have you been? I can't. The mic. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> sorry. Hello. Can Hello. you me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, I'm fine. Where are you from? Uh, I am from oh, Colombia. Okay, Colombia. Very cool. Colombia, yeah. Um, Okay, so so we're talking about food uh, and, and recipes. Do you have any uh, any special recipes that you would like to share? Um, I I could um, I like could um, normally uh, I eat uh, in at the street and restaurant. Okay. Um, do you do you live in a in a big city in uh, Colombia? Yeah. Uh, yeah. In in the capital, in Bogota. Okay. Very good. Bogota. Um, so there's probably I've I've never been there, but is there um is there are there a lot of of um we call them street vendors. Are there a lot of people who sell food right on the street, and you can go up and and grab it right away? Are there are there a lot of people who sell food right on the street? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, in the street, um, there is many vendors, uh, ambulante. Okay. Vendors in the street. Okay. Uh, fruit, fruit, uh, food, fast food. Um, uh. um, Oh, many, 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 many vendors, many vendor ambulances. Okay, and and what's your favorite? What's your favorite thing to get on on uh, the street? Favorite um, uh, chicken, 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 uh, <laughs> burger, chicken. chicken. Yeah. burger chicken, <laughs> burger chicken, burger chicken, burger chicken. No, uh, oh, uh, chicken uh, burger. Yeah, chicken burger. Uh, I uh, don't like I don't like the sauce. Uh, uh, ketchup, uh, mayonnaise. Uh, I don't like uh, okay. and don't eat because hair. Because of your health. Yeah, hair. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's okay. Yeah, the the street vendor food typically is not the healthiest food. Um, but th so so that's your favorite though. Y you go that and you get. That's your favorite thing to get is the is the chicken burger. That's your favorite. Yeah, chicken burger, chicken burger. But um, you don't, but you don't get the sauce, right? Uh, yeah, don't don't sauce. Don't the get sauce. the sauce. Okay. And <laughs> empanada, empanada, chicken, uh, empanada. Empanada. Uh, other uh, other yeah. other food is empanada or chicken. Okay. So what what are emp I I've had empanadas but I can't remember what they are. What what are they? It's um, like a pie. Empanada, I don't know in oh, English. Is it is it is it deep it's fried? Yes. It's, mm, it's, it's fried, like yeah, it's fried. You can cook it in, a, in an oven. Okay. Okay, it can be cooked in an oven. But it's like a it's like a pocket, right? It, it's yeah, closed. Pocket. Yeah. Yes. Okay, empanadas. Oh man, that does sound good. Okay, all right. Okay, well, thank you, Rafael. Thank you. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, who has Watch my, my my screen. Hey, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Empanada. Empanada. Those look like mini calzones. One kind of. The link, Mark. Go to the link. You okay. you will see what uh, empanada is. <laughs> Check it out. Empanada. There's a lot of kind of empanadas. Okay. Like fried. Okay. Empanada. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh man, that's good. That's empanada. So, so what? It's what like is it pie. wrapped in? Is it just wrapped in just a regular dough? In regular, regular what? Sorry. Like what? Wh what is it wrapped in? The empanada. What? What is it encased in? Does anyone know? Um, oh. This, this, this thing. Yeah, the outside, the crust. What is that? Is it just dough? It's, it's, it's Kind of bread. It's not bread. It's similar, but okay. it's, it's yeah. more. It's it's more thin. 
In traducción. It's a no. It's a no, eh, you know. De no. traducción. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. De traducción. Is pie or party or yes. turnover? Okay, or turnover. Okay, yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Like yes. Okay, cool. All right, so you can put uh, so you can put sweet things or or um, or meats or cheeses in there as well, right? Yeah, it could be uh, yeah. vegetarian empanada. Oh, also. nice. Okay, very you can cool. Put it whatever yes. you want. They right. they can be uh, yeah. Cool. Okay, well, thank you, everyone. <laughs> good to know what an empanada is. All right. Okay, are Rana. Very good. Are very good. Uh, Rana, are you there? Rana Salamin? Yes, I'm here. Sorry. Uh, that baby was mine, so I, I just... <laughs> oh, no, it's so fine. That... It sounded cute. <laughs> he, he, he's still awake. I don't know what's, what he's doing until now. It's almost 2 a.m. Oh jeez! <laughs> he likes your class, maybe. Or I don't know. <laughs> it's about food. His his favorite topic, and he. Oh okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we don't we don't we don't turn away anybody who wants to learn English. So if he wants to learn, then <laughs> bring it on. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay. Um. I I don't know what to talk about. I have two recipes. Do you want a Middle Eastern one or a public one that may help you all? You, can, have, uh, you yeah. can talk about whatever you want to talk about, whatever you think is okay. going to give you the best practice. I'm sure yeah. we're going to learn either way. Where, where are you from, by the way, uh, Rana? Uh, yeah, I live in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. Yeah. Okay. Did I already ask you that? I thought... Did you already say that? I thought somebody yeah, else was... I, okay. I did. I did, okay. but no problem. I have Alzheimer's. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Okay, um, well... Uh, Okay, uh, let me teach you a Middle Eastern uh, uh, food. Okay, some kind of a Middle Eastern food. Uh, the one I talked about already. Uh, it's it's kind of complicated, but uh, uh, <laughs> but I can explain it. Maybe because I will practice my English too. Okay. Okay, go ahead. It's great. Okay. Um, um, first of all, uh, you have to prepare the chicken. Um, you have to to rub the chicken with onions and um, and curcum uh, <laughs> and uh, maybe uh, turmeric. Oh, right. very good okay. turmeric. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, wh what's this recipe called, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, the, it's called the upside down. The one I told you already. Oh, about. you're telling me about yeah. upside down. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, so you have to put turmeric and uh, onions on the okay. chicken, uh, along with uh, many other spices, like... Uh, uh, no, first of all, you have to cook the chicken, uh, yani the, uh, the ordinary way, you have to boil it okay. Okay, for like 45 minutes, uh, but before that, <laughs> sorry, uh, you have to first. You have to fry it, okay, in oil, okay. Fry okay. each piece of the chicken in oil, okay. Okay, and then you have to cook it, boil it in 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 uh, in uh, hot water for for like forty five minutes, uh, and then uh, when it's done, when the chicken is done, mm -hmm. you have to start making the. You have to start uh, frying the corn flour. Okay. You okay. Should, yeah, you should cut it in, in small pieces and fry it. Okay. And then prepare the rice. Um, also the ordinary way, but you have to um, uh, put in uh, the pot, you have to put three layers. The first one is the chicken. Okay. The second, the second one is the rice. Okay. Before, before being cooked, of course. The rice is still... Um, what, what do we call it? Rare? Uh, no. Uh, the the, yeah. the uncooked rice are you talking about? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So you said what the first layer, it? meaning yeah. the bottom layer, right? The first yeah. layer, the bottom layer is chicken, the, and then it goes rice, the right? Layer. Exactly. Okay. okay. Yeah. So um, we we should put the rice, the raw rice. Okay. And, and the the top layer should be the. Um, <laughs> I made a very big mistake. I know I'm, um, I, I really got you confused, all of you, but okay. No, let's... no, no, you're fine. 
You're fine. No, I'm, yeah, okay. Okay. The first layer uh, again. The first layer must must be chicken. Okay. The second is is corn flour. The top layer must be uh, rice. Okay. 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 Uh, you have to put it in this way in the pot, and then uh, 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 leave it on um, low heat for like uh, fifteen to twenty minutes. Okay. Okay. They're all so, not, the, the chicken is already cooked. The mm -hmm. rice is being cooked now in this uh, 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, and the of course the corn flour is already uh, fried too. So it's only for the rice, for the sake of the rice. Okay. We're, okay. we're cooking it uh, together. And then you should bring this uh, big uh, uh, dish. Okay. And uh, bring the pot. Put the dish. On the top of the pot and uh, um, like flip it upside down. Flip the pot. Okay. Upside down. <laughs> and that's the, why why it's called upside down. Upside down. down. Okay. <laughs> okay. So so what are you cooking it on for twenty minutes? What's that called? Uh, uh, the rice is being cooked in the twenty minutes exactly because we put it raw. Okay. Right. Also, right. Listen to yeah. me though. What what are you cooking it on? What's that called? Uh, I'm sorry. What are you cooking the pan on? What is that cooking on? Oh, uh, you mean what kind of pan or? Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's the normal what is, pot. Okay, yeah, the, the pot. Yeah. What is the yeah. pot sitting on? What, from what is the heat coming from? The heat is coming yeah, from on the, the, on the stove. On the the stove. stove, very good. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you remember. Okay, yeah. all right, so you're doing all that, and then you take your plate, and then you flip the pot over, and then and then you eat it, so the chicken will be yeah. on the top, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Excellent. You have to know that it's, it's really delicious because it's, it has a, a lot of spices, too. There is cumin, there is cardamom, there is cinnamon, Ooh, curry, turmeric. Yeah. Okay, very all good. Other, uh, yeah. All right, well, your spice knowledge is, is, is very impressive. I'm impressed. Yeah, I watch. I watch actually uh, Food Network and. <laughs> oh yeah, Food Network. Thinking, you know? Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, thank you. I'm gonna. I'm definitely okay. gonna keep that one in mind. Upside down. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'll mute the mic again because of my baby. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I'm okay. I'll catch you later. Whenever you want to talk to me, I can, I can hear you. Okay. You will, okay, all right. We'll we'll call you. Don't worry. And if you want to comment, just 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 shout it. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, okay, Yasin, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Yasin. You know I know you've been thinking of something. What have you thought of for us? Uh, I'm just I'm just listening to it. No, come <laughs> on. <laughs> you can tell me something. Uh, okay, I'm I'm a student in Istanbul. Okay. In Turkey. Okay. Uh, and, and I'm living with my friends at home, and, and we don't really uh, how to cook in <laughs> at home. Yeah. Are you are you yeah. are you a student? Yeah. Yeah. That's understandable, but okay. All right. So we, you live in Istanbul. Go ahead. Yeah. What we are good at uh, about how to order a meal from outside. Uh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, oh, I thought you were gonna tell me how how to do it. Okay, well, tell me about what's your. I've never been to Istanbul and, and I've never been to Turkey, so yeah, tell me about what's your from, favorite dish. Well, uh, I live in Ohio. Have you heard of that? Ohio. It's a state in America. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I go to Ohio State University, which is one of the biggest universities mm -hmm. um, in the world. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, okay, so tell me about what your favorite dish is in in Turkey or where you're from. Uh, my favorite dish uh, is Iskander. It's Turkish, Turkish Iskander. Do you know it? Is what? Iskander? Iskander. It's Iskander. kind of meat, but it's different with. Could you could uh, you type it for me real quick, please? Uh, Iskander. Oh, yeah. okay. My, you can my, my, check my. on the internet. Okay, Iskander. All right, I will. Okay, yeah. well, tell me about this. This is your favorite. It's, huh? it's a kind of uh, meat okay. uh, with, uh, with butter. Uh, okay. Uh, it's it's very hard to cook at home. Okay. We can't cook it at home. Uh, you we can eat at restaurant or from outside. Uh, 
I don't really exactly how to cook, but okay. it's very delicious. I very really delicious. like it. I bet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, if you if you if you uh, have if you came to Istanbul or Turkey, you should you should uh, taste it. I will write that down. Okay, so is <laughs> okay. Iskandar is that a uh, is that a thing that you need to go to a restaurant to do, or can you buy it off of the street? Can, like, can you get it from street vendors? No, no you have to go to the uh, restaurant or you something. To to restaurant. You, you have okay. to sit. <laughs> okay. To right. eat it, it. Yeah. How big is it? Is it is it a big meal or is it? What it's does it look like? It's a big um uh, very uh. uh it's uh, uh, uh it's difficult to explain mm -hmm. maybe Iskandar. Iskandar. man well that sounds good and, and and it's always and it's chicken in it right it's chicken chicken no it's uh not chicken it's uh wait a minute Uh, it's a cold meat, not chicken. Not chicken. Is it red meat? Uh, yeah, yeah, red meat. <laughs> okay, so it's maybe maybe uh, red, beef. Yeah. Is beef, it from a right. cow? Cow, right? Cow. Oh, okay. It's cow, not chicken or ch sheep or. Chicken. Right. Okay. Okay. Lamb. Cool. All right. Well, that sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, Hank, are you there yet? Yeah, yeah. Where have you been? Have you been eating all this time? No, I muted my mic by mistake. Oh, <laughs> no worries. Okay, all right. Well, you know, you know what we're talking about, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, can can you can you give me any recipes that you can cook yourself? Uh, yeah, I've been experimenting a lot recently. Um, I can uh, introduce you a very, like, very famous Chinese food that you can learn. Okay. Oh, maybe it's I've called, had it. Yeah, it's called beer duck. All right. Yeah, beer actually, duck. you can use any meat you want, like beer, uh, like uh, beef or chicken or whatever you want. Okay. But you need okay, so you need meat duck, and then you need some like ingredients like dried peppers, uh, garlic, ginger, and soy sauce, and of course a, a can of beer. And then okay. before you cook, you have to marinate. The chicken or the duck, um, with soy sauce and some like wine. Okay. Uh, and uh, after thirty minutes or something, then you just put some oil in a wok, and then you heat the oil. And first of all, you have to put in the uh, I guess it's ginger and uh, garlic. Okay, and makes sense. Dry, yeah, and dried pepper, dried peppers, and then when you smell, you know. The flavor of it, then you can just add the uh, chicken or duck in it, and then you have to like stir fry it for three or four minutes. Then okay, on high, on which kind of heat? High? Uh, I think it's high. Yeah. Okay. Okay. High heat, and then you have to uh put some soy sauce in it and some beer, and now you cover the wok and cook it for and and you turn the heat to medium, and okay. then you cook it for maybe ten minutes or. Uh, until it's tender, so then you uncover it and turn it back to high, and uh, to make the soup dry, you know. Okay. And then. So you want to evaporate all the liquid? Is yeah, that what you're saying? Yeah, all the liquid. Okay. At last, you just um, put some like sesame seeds on it, then you can enjoy it. It's really delicious. Um, nice. Actually, from one of my friends, actually, she's now teaching. A cooking class. So okay, nice. Okay, it's what's simple, uh, but it is good. <laughs> what kind of uh, what kind of beer do you use? I feel like what kind uh, of beer do you use? What 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 kind of? Uh, I think it doesn't matter what kind of beer you use. Um, but like Budweiser or whatever, just beer. Okay. All right. People say that, but I always think like it's gonna be a better meal if you like if you're if if you put in like natty or or you know something cheap like that. I feel like it's gonna be crappy, but I guess if you say beer, it, it, yeah, it's according to your own preference. Like 
you you like drinking what kind of beer, then you put this kind of beer in it. Okay, Maybe it'll be great. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. but but why? So it's like making love in a canoe, as the Monty Python said. <laughs> right. You, you know you know why? Because you know you know what follows. What's that? Uh, mm. uh, they say the American beer is like making love in a canoe. I say, how's that? It's fucking close to water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not mine. It's a Monty Python. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fabio, you should just have like a joke class. You should just yeah. have a class where you just you just you just spit jokes for an hour, and then we could all come to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does anybody else have any com? I I can't believe it's already six fifty five. But does anybody have any comments, real quick? Um, yes. What's your go favorite ahead? Dish? What's my favorite dish? Yeah. I'll tell you my favorite dessert. I have a lot of favorite dishes, and I love my favorite food is Thai food for sure. Um, oh, cool. Followed closely by Indian. Um, but my favorite dessert is uh, maybe you guys have had it before. It's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, high scale. It's called uh, baked Alaska. Has anyone heard of that? Baked uh, Alaska. Yeah, baked, um, baked Alaska, Alaska, like the state. Um, and what it is is uh, okay, it's actually quite simple, but um, it's very hard to find. So you take cake, okay, usually probably like white cake, um, and you do like a layer of that. Uh, and then on top of that, you do another layer of ice cream. Uh, my favorite would be something like raspberry or raspberry Ooh. chocolate chip ice cream. I don't know, something like that. Okay, so cake, ice cream, cake, ice cream. You keep doing layers. And so you do layers until you're about this tall. This tall. This is hard. Okay, whatever. It's like it's like five or six inches tall, okay? And then what you do is you put meringue on the top of it. Do you guys know what meringue is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah the, the, white, the white one. Yes, yes. Meringue is uh, is very is made very simply by just whipping eggs and adding uh, sugar slowly, uh, and then you have to add uh, either uh, some kind of acid, so either baking uh, soda or yes, yes. Uh, so you put that on top of the um, of the cake and ice cream stacked on top. So you put it on top and you bake it in the oven so that the meringue hardens, and then uh, you have to be quick because the ice cream is in there, you know. So you do that, the meringue hardens, you pour wine on top of it, and you serve it on fire. And so that's how you get it. That's interesting. Wow. Yes. Yeah. If, uh, if you guys ever go to a, if you guys are ever fortunate enough to go to a, a very nice hotel or something like that, ask if you can get I um, the link baked. with uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay. Well, uh, I'm I'm very impressed by all of your recipes. I thank you guys all so much. Um, here, I have just four quick things um, written down, and what they are is. Um, they are okay. If you guys look at my screen, these are just uh, four uses of how we can say food related to um, sayings in English. Okay, so if somebody says, "Oh, I have such a sweet tooth," I'm actually victim to this. It just means you really like to eat um, sweet food a lot. Okay, so you could say somebody has a, a very big sweet tooth. Um, another one is be a piece of cake. Who can yeah. who can tell me what to be a piece of cake means? It's something very easy. Yeah, it's very easy. Yeah, so you I mean, could talk. Yeah. Go ahead. You could say like, uh, like that job interview was a piece of cake, or that uh, exam was a piece of cake. Okay. All right, yeah. and then these two. Who knows what icing on the cake means? It's the top layer, what? I guess. Yeah, it's the top layer. But what what does it mean in terms of of context? Uh, to make it even better. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So like, if you you know. If you win a million dollars and a car, then the car would be the icing on the cake yeah. or something like that. Um, and then, okay, who can tell me about have your cake and eat it too? What does that mean? Anyone know? Have your cake and... Yeah, it's a, it's a phrase we say in English, okay? So we say it's kind of like, um, it's like, you know, you already got this going for it. You can't expect to have it all, okay? So you can't have your cake and eat it too. That's just one of the things we said. So it says, um, "Does somebody, uh, Fabio, you want to you want to read the uh, example for me, starting with you can't." Yeah, you can't have your cake <clears throat> and eat it too. You can't go out having fun every night in the week and then get good marks in your exams. If you right. really want to go to university, you're going to have to do a lot more study. Okay, so does that make sense to to you guys? How you can't have your cake and eat it too? Yeah, it's cool. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time we got. Thank you so much for coming, and I hope to see you soon.
Thank, Thank you. Bye, mate. Okay, Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. See you, See you, later. Later. <laughs> See Thank you very much. See you,